Welcome to October. We are going to look at what seems spooky to you this month. How can you face those fears? Where are you being lazy? Um, where shit's getting confusing and route to your goal? Um, where do you need to be more honest with yourself? And then the good things that are coming your way in the month of October that we just can't see yet. I'm going to be using some really fun decks, so I'm excited to get started for you. Virgo, what seems spooky to you this month? Um, the fact that maybe you don't feel as connected to your spiritual life as maybe you do usually. Oh my gosh, what is this? Why is my intuition broken? Holy fuck, what does this mean? Um, that's kind of the vibe in the month of October for you. So how do you go about facing that fear this month? Um, they just go, okay, fuck, you know, shit's about to get real. And this is actually a correlated energy to the third eye chakra, to your intuition, intuition. And so they're saying, but the purpose of this is that you need, therefore, to invite people around you to help you out. So let's say that you are a palm reader and you're like, ah, I can no longer read my own palm. I don't know how to make decisions in my life or whatever. Um, or maybe you're not. Maybe you work as a nurse and you're like, I don't feel like God's hearing my prayers. Um, the reason this is happening is so that we look to other people to help us. Maybe we ask somebody else in the similar field to give us guidance or advice. But these connections are going to be important in the subsequent months. So I want to find out why are these connections important? Mm, I love this. So um, these connections are important, they say. The reason why maybe you lose a little bit of your intuition this month is because we have to get down to this energy of, um, hmm, I feel kind of hopeless. I feel kind of lost. I feel a little misguided to remind us of the way that we used to navigate th through things as children. As children, we look to experts, we look to adults, we look to friends, right? And so it's about cultivating these relationships. When does your intuition um, come back? And they say it might be this kind of an energy for um, probably less than five weeks, so maybe towards the end of October things change a little bit. Why are these relationships going to be important? And they say because they're going to be long-lasting, long-term, lifelong relationships. So for some of you, this might be, um, surprise, I meet my soulmate this month and we stay together forever. Um, and if we would have had our intuition to guide us, we might not have been so thrilled by the surprise of it all, right? Like you might have felt them coming and this makes it all that more magical. Um, for others of you, it's going to be to have that um, bestie that you can always go to, that, you know, the friendship that lasts the test of time, um, something really secure and stable. It's like a home base for you. Something beautiful is going to come out of this as long as we invite other people around us to kind of help us out. It's important for us, especially as Virgos, Virgos, um, everybody kind of just assumes you never need anybody's help. You've got your shit together. You're so organized. You're so perfect. And um, for the most part, that's actually really true. Uh, but that kind of makes you like up here and then other people feel inferior. Um, so when you open up and you're vulnerable and you say, hey, I need a little help, a little assistance, it's easier for you to make important connections. And then it's also easier for you to not be so high strung and stress the fuck out all the time because you want everything to go right. Okay. So um, where are you being lazy this month? They say, in regards to that exact energy I was talking about, um, cultivating long-term relationships that last the, um, you know, the entire course of your life. Also in long-term planning. You know, what is it that I want for my life long-term? Um, how much money do I need to save for retirement? Where do I want to live? Thinking about those sorts of things and laying down foundational plans. Um, how are things getting a little bit confusing 
en route to any goals that we have for ourselves. And they're like, you're just not really embracing this anything is possible vibe. And maybe a part of the reason why that is, is because you do put everything on self. You are completely self-sufficient. If you want something done right, it's like, I'm going to do it myself. And, and you're right, right? So this is why it's a lesson in the month of October for you to be open, to allow other people to help you because they might surprise you. Okay, um, they might not do it better than you. They might not do things as good as you, but good enough, which frees up enough time for you to take the things that are supremely important instead of slightly support important that they could handle, right? Um, and make sure those are perfect. Otherwise, we just don't have enough time for everything, okay? Now, where is it that you need to be more honest with yourself in the month of October? Um, that, you know, it's true, we have this belief system that maybe other people are fucking idiots and that they're a little bit clueless. Um, but that being said, we have to be honest with ourselves that maybe sometimes we're that idiot, that we're a little clueless if we are not embracing this idea of anything is possible, okay? Um, if we don't believe something is possible, we'll never move towards it. We'll never set goals and achieve them in that direction, okay? So if I have a fear that says I'll never meet the right man for me, all the good ones are taken, and the rest of them are cheaters or whatever, well, then I'm not going to take the appropriate actions to co-create that with the universe, and the universe isn't going to support me in finding the right person, right? Um, so we have to believe in something um, before it can be created. I have to, you know... Um, I have to believe that electricity is possible before, like that there has to be a better way than candles, right? Before I can even conceive that there would be a way to use um, all of these experiments to create that, right? I have to believe that energy exists um, in the first place in order to create electricity, you know? Um, all ideas start with a belief that it is possible, and that is what's really getting you kind of stuck in the month of October. So um, the good things that are coming your way that you just can't see yet, and um, <laughs> oh, this is a, I hate, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with spirit guides and angels when they do this. Um, and I don't know if this will show up in the video, but there's like a little angel orb that floated right by and they're like, hey y'all, it's true, we do this. Um, so what they're saying, the good things that are happening that you just can't see yet, they go, well, if you don't believe that things are possible, the good news is you don't have to do any work. You don't have to co-create shit for your life. Okay. <laughs> um, but what if you are real flexible and you're open to that and you want to do the work? Then they say that, you know, in most tarot decks, the Four of Cups is like a person sitting here like this and the universe, other people are handing them cups and they're like, mm, either I don't see it or not good enough, I don't want it. And they're setting it down. And they're like, oh my God, just take the help. Okay, in this deck, it's a little different. What it is, is that there's four cups and it says, Lord of blended pleasure. You're gonna get a lot out of all four of these cups. These could be, you know, three blessings from the universe and one from a friend. Or it could be, you know, any combination. But what this is, is things coming to you that are so wonderful that they over that you overflow with joy. Okay, do you see that? And they say starting with the new moon, which is actually like just before October. So fucking fantastic. Um, as immediate as you can take action on the guidance that they give you in this reading um, is like pretty soon you're going to start is as immediate as you're going to start receiving blessings from the universe, from friends, from colleagues, even maybe from strangers, so that you're overflowing with joy. So awesome for you. Um, I'm really happy to see that Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, all earth signs, are kind of um, in this energy of getting what they want in the month of October. So bravo, and I'll see you in November.